many of you have ever wanted to go outside and learn? I know I have. Now, what if you could go outside and learn on the roof? Believe it or not, three years ago, I sat in this performance hall listening to these life-changing speakers tell me about the way they made an impact. Well, TEDx SMU is a conference where you are supposed to feel inspired. Every year I came, I felt lost. I felt like there was no way I could make a difference on the level these people had. And now, I'm here speaking to you because I'm a part of an amazing team who's come up with an amazing idea. And today, we are going to tell you about how we decided to leave a legacy on a totally different level. When we were originally challenged to leave a legacy, we brainstormed for weeks. And during that, those weeks, we came up with a lot of really great ideas, but our biggest challenge was just coming up with an idea that wasn't only meaningful to us as individuals, but to our school as a community as well. And our school mascot is a Bronco, and one of the things we just kind of joke about a little bit now is that at one point we had this genius idea to build a horse head. <laughs> so we were asked to think bigger. So we said, okay, well, let's build the whole horse. I mean, that's bigger, right? Yeah, it's bigger. <laughs> so, so again, we were asked to think bigger. So we said, okay, let's make it move. And I mean, talk about beating a dead horse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning, we really struggled just to understand what a legacy was. And we couldn't find that one thing that we knew we wanted to create. But we did know one thing. We knew that we needed to follow that gut feeling, telling us to create something big and something truly remarkable. And this was it. This was the very picture that stuck with us from the beginning of our journey, what captivated us and what started it all. When I first saw the living roof, I couldn't believe what I felt. We ran in the hallway that day and we just jumped and danced around in pure joy. It was like the switch I was searching for my whole life finally turned on. And when school ended that day, I went home told my parents, told my friends, looked at more pictures. And once it was time to go to sleep that night, I couldn't. This project was all I could think about. And from that very moment, we knew that this would be our legacy. And we had no doubt that we could accomplish it. And soon enough, we began brainstorming what we wanted on the living roof. So. What exactly is a living roof? A living roof, by definition, is a structure that can support and sustain vegetation in a growing medium. But for the purpose of leaving a legacy, and really just to fit more into our vision, we really wanted to expand on this idea just by adding some extra components, really just to enhance the overall experience of our students or any faculty that would use this space. So we discussed and we researched everything for months, and eventually we decided that we were going to put the living roof over a courtyard. And right now, this space is used by our school's art department. And although it is used, they can't use it if it's raining or snowing, or even if it's just too hot or too cold. And so by building this structure as a cover to the courtyard, we'll really be enhancing the usability of the space. And this is our legacy. To begin with, we will have a stage that can, use, can, that can be used by any club or organization, such as band, orchestra, or choir. We will also have an LED TV, which teachers can use to show their classroom presentations during the day. And lastly, we are adding LED lights for that extra pop of ambiance, because you know, you got to have your ambiance. <laughs> We're also building benches and planter boxes, each planter box having an outlet so you can charge anything you need. Underneath, we're using more LED lights and fans just for air circulation. And we have also collaborated with our engineers to design an air exhaust system just for a little more airflow underneath. In addition, we have worked with engineers on the upper level of the living roof to design a solar panel system allowing net zero energy consumption. We have also developed an irrigation system that reuses rainwater runoff as well as AC condensation water. And lastly, a waterfall as well as a wide open grass area can be, can be used by any of the students to sit down, read a book, or even study. How awesome is that? <laughs> 
Now, obviously, this project did not just happen overnight. We've taken all the steps through the research, the meeting with specialists, the meeting with architects, the calculations, <laughs> and the meeting with engineers. From this project, we've had 12 administrators and staff members help, 18 specialists, two architects, and 15 engineers to give us a total of 47 mentors. And these 47 mentors have donated 510 hours to this project so far, which translates to $102,000 donated to this project just through time. And this is only from the planning phase. We have now moved on to the process of growing plants, looking for grants, and working around like little carpenter ants. <laughs> So these were the first official drawings that we, that we received. And that afternoon when I first saw these drawings, this was the first time that I truly felt that this project was really happening. Our entire team was standing around this courtyard, or around this table in the courtyard, and we were just looking at these drawings. And I remember just feeling the joy of being able to see all of our hard work and our perseverance. Well, that wasn't all. That was the day that I knew I found my meaning in the world, and that the people I was standing next to that day, we would be lifelong friends. Because all the ups and the downs that we went through on this project, we had grown from a group of high school students into a family, and I knew then that I had found my tribe. And this was a very spiritual experience for me, and it's these moments that turn these projects into life-changing experiences. There were times where we did struggle to find the right place to build a living roof since they didn't really follow our vision. But two things stayed constant. Our willingness to stay true to our dream and our perseverance due to downfalls. We never saw our age as a hindrance, but rather as a factor that motivated us to make this project a reality. We were committed to see our idea become real because we loved this project like it was our own child. And this passion that we had for this project not only supported our actions, but also gave us the determination and the patience we needed to make it happen. Now, we have to start to plan for the future since hopefully we're not gonna be high school students forever. One of the ways that we have done this, um, PALS and FFA have reached out to take care of the grass and the plants after we leave, and we will ha be having movie nights and Super Bowl parties up there to help fund the maintenance and repairs for the long term. When this project is completed, we will not only be one of the few schools in the United States with a living roof, but we will be the first school in the country to have a living roof designed, developed, and funded by the students and for the students. This project has taught us so much about life and about who we are as people. And throughout this journey, I've been extremely grateful to work on such a defining project because I never would have thought I would be capable of doing something of this level in my life. I finally saw my passion, I finally saw my worth, and it felt pretty extraordinary. Now, this project by no means has been a simple road, but the challenges we have faced every day have taught us skills that we cannot acquire in the classroom. We've, had, we've been so fortunate to have the mentor team that we have had. They've given us hours of mentorship, advice, and encouragement from the beginning, and for that, we will forever be gr grateful. It is for that reason we have reached out to a group of fourth and fifth graders at Webb Elementary who want to build a handicap accessible park for the community. Now, I realize that there are only three of us speaking to you today, but we could never have gotten this far if it weren't for our team. Challenge you. Find your passion. Start your own. Roofolution. Thank you.